続き。Yo man, how's your how's your week? Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty. Uh, went by pretty fast. Yeah. We got some. Right wow.、There. You know. Thank you, King. Camera might pick it up. I can't have you out here looking crazy. Ah,、man. I appreciate it. You know? I try not to. <laughs> I mean, can't be out here looking like a slob, right? Like a pig. Oh man. You didn't. You didn't do anything exciting? Not really. Just work. That's exciting. Is it? No. Well, your job is exciting. I'm over it. You over it? You done with it? I'm over it. But <laughs> I was here a week. It was exciting. I got cursed out by a Jamaican woman. Oh, how was that? Yeah, it's typical. Listen, man, I go through that every other every day, every other business day. Oh, okay, okay. So now on the weekends. See, I'm 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 never around <laughs> as much on the weekends, so I avoid it. <laughs> so but, it can happen, right? Yeah, but every other weekday, you know. Okay, okay. It's yeah, cool yeah, though. Yeah. I mean. I, At this point, you it's said like, it's cool. It's not cool to be. Oh, I didn't get yelled I'm at. I'm used、us. to it. Like I'm so used to it. I'm so used to it. Like, like psychologically, it's、yeah. like I, I, I'm starting to like it. Like I look for that、uh, a little bit in women now. Like, that's why you like assertive women. Sometimes it depends. It depends. You, you like you like them to like have control, right? Tell you what to do. Take your head, put it down in there every JJ. No, no. I think <laughs> I think you. You like that shit, right? You kinky. It's、boy. like I'm I'm here. You're up here. <laughs> Always king. You like. <laughs> Up here to the side somewhere. I'm like right here. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right here. I'm just trying to make it. I'm just trying. To how, how, how how was that experience for you though? Like getting yelled at, you know,、uh, the disrespect. Oh, it's simple. You know? I just didn't reply. And, and you know, you know, it's the funny thing about those situations. It's always something small and and simple. Something that you easily could have talked to me. You know, I was thinking what you said. Something you said something about yo, it's a it's a baby shower. You know, you can't really redo a baby shower. Yeah, but when you're pregnant, the pictures that people talk about are not the baby shower pictures; they're the maternity pictures. No,、uh, what I meant was like the the event itself, like whatever decoration setup she had.、Yeah. It'd probably be a lot for her to you know redo that. She should have had it. Mainly it, but it's her fault. It's she, her fault. She, 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 well, we shouldn't talk about this, but fuck it, don't listen. That's why she should have had the extra. <laughs> that's why she should have had the extra hours after the event was over. You did say she was late, so I mean,、oh, yeah, she got there at three. Three something. It started at two. You left that one three thirty. No, I left around like um, I'm gonna say five something, five hundred six. Oh, it was two to six. It was two to six. She got there maybe like three thirty. Yeah, man. I got to. You know what's funny? She called me saying, "Yo, are there people there?" So I can actually go on my phone and check the the like the time the time she called me to like verify exact time. I、like、actually she asked you that like you're one of the the event planners. Exactly right. Like she communicated with you what she was doing. Yo, I have no idea what was going on when I got I mean, in my head. I didn't. I was expecting none of that. I like. I thought baby shower was like, yo, everybody gets there. She gets there. Everybody celebrating. I, I was expecting just like, cause I've never been in a baby. I think maybe like once in my life I've been to a baby shower. So I, like from what I see in TV, it's supposed to be like a big part of the the the, the baby shower, like opening the presents. Yeah. Like I'm. She didn't have me or like that. Was, I wasn't around. She for didn't that. do that. I don't. I don't know if she did because I remember I left and when when I left, they were still kind of doing stuff. Listen, man. She was in the moment. It is what it is, man. It's it's just a learning lesson. Shit, it's a learning lesson for me too, guy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what happened? Oh shit! Let me you know, what? Let me, let me not do that. Spam your account. <laughs> I was like, oh shit! I, oh damn. Yo, one thing I learned is people don't know as much as they think they know. That's some. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing I learned in life, and just dealing with people and entrepreneurship, and all this. That's one thing I learned about you know people, people grown folk. A lot of grown folk. Don't, yeah, they don't. They don't know shit. Like you, you think someone because someone's a certain age, like you're supposed to respect them, look up to them. But then you hear them talk. <laughs> and it's like, oh no, you're still ghetto. Yeah, you're still you're still not. Yeah, this is unprofessional. Yet, I really shouldn't talk about this on the podcast, but it's like talk about what? What are you talking about? Exactly. Hey, listen, man. We ain't say no names. We ain't say what. We didn't even say what happened. We, we just, what we're just talking about. Yeah,、it. we didn't even say the job. Like, what was I doing? What were you doing? I don't know. Exactly. I was the chef. You were the chef. You like my cooking? Listen, I think I think I think your cooking was, was was good, man. I enjoyed、really? it. I enjoyed it. She like my Dominican sanson. Listen, man. The sanson. All right, man. Let's get into the topics. Put up the list. Well, what's, oh wait, what's, wait, wait, wait. Oh wait, wait. Yo, hey, hey, hey. This is a bigger store podcast. It's me, but they got the professional busher here with Kino. Kino Flow on IG at Kino Flow. Follow me. The Human Laugh Track. The Human Laugh Track. You're not sticking with that. 
Listen, I, it's just whatever, man. If that's if that's how you see me, then damn. Like, can you have a backbone for one? What do you want? Huh? What do you want? I don't know what I want, man. It's not like I'm the not, woman I talk to. I'm not used to getting asked that question. It's not like the woman what I talk to. What do you want? It's always what what do they want? You know, it's not it's not what I want. But no, that's cool. It's a work in development. I don't know what I want yet. You never know what you want. Okay, all right, man. Let's go to the topics. All right, so I mean, we could get started with. The first thing that's on my mind is the nigga on your mind. The, the list, <laughs> the, the, the pride parade, like they're trying to. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you ready to attack me? <laughs> uh, damn the pride parade. They're really trying to get rid of the NYPD. Yo, I think that's. Can you do that? When I, when I first saw that, I can, thought that was can, like can a do stupid that? idea. Cause I, I don't I don't like per, I don't fully understand. Let me let me start with that. I don't fully understand. Well, you're not gay, so you. Well, yeah, but <laughs> I don't fully understand because like, I feel like they would want the police there because there are a lot of anti outside entities that are very anti gay LGBTQ plus, and it's like, bro, like, out of all the parades, isn't that one to be going the craziest? Yeah, like it's it's like Labor Day parade. It's, no, it's gay parade, Labor Day parade. Does Juvie count? Because Juvie's technically... Nah, nah. It's connected with, with Labor Day. But Juvie is like legal. Like That's not like government I sanctions. I don't think so. It's not official. It's not an official thing. Yo, are we going to Juvie this year? I don't I don't think it's a good idea. You're a bitch. Um, All right. Hey, I might change my mind, but hey. No, I've been asking you to go to Juvie and Labor Day for Ray for years. You know what's funny? I remember being... I've been going we, by myself now. I remember being a little kid and... Then my parents went once or twice, and I, and I try. I asked them, "Can I go?" And they said, "No, you gotta stay home." To Juve? Yeah, and I was just like, "Damn!" Yeah. And now I'm older, and now I don't want to go. Yeah, I remember when you told me that story about that somebody got thrown acid on. That, that happened multiple times. Can you be more specific? <laughs> yeah, that's that's low key some shit I worry about. Like when I when I'm on a train or the bus, and I see somebody with like a cup, if they're moving suspicious, I get nervous. Like what's in there? I don't know. Like is that coffee? <laughs> you, is it yeah. water? Is it acid? I don't know. That's so funny because that's how you think. I'd be going to sleep on the train without thinking about it. Listen, as as much shit I have on my mind about the worst case scenario, I go to sleep yeah. too. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think about no worst case scenario. I'm always thinking worst case scenario. No, my worst case scenario is shit, man. Uh, damn, I missed my stop by like three stops. Either now I gotta either walk back home or wait for the other side, See, which that, is smarter. That's my worst case. That scenario. only happens after. A party or or brunch? Oh, that happens. Oh, you live. Oh, wait, what are we talking? About? Oh, you know who loves parties and brunch? The gay community. Exactly. You know what they're doing? Not allowing, <laughs> <laughs> not allowing the NYPD to participate in the gay parade for until two thousand and twenty-five. The twenty twenty-five. When I read it, I kind of. What did it mean by not participate? Do they? Oh, I guess we should have read more. Do they mean by not participate? As in, like they can't be a part of the parade, or they can't like protect? They can't it? be there. Like they w- they wouldn't be there to like protect can I, their can you like, do that? Active security. Is, isn't that by like by law you need and what like the cops to like set up? Don't, don't, don't aren't they the one that put the barricades? My, I'm a little confused by and that. map that shit out. I'm a little confused by that. I, I, I should have more research, but I'm a little confused by it because the pol- the police they operate. For certain events, they operate as like security, more or less. Yeah, yeah, they're like security security contractors in, in some instances. So it's like, my question is, when I saw that, are they going to hire a? Are they going to get a new security company to do, cover them? Or do, do got that bread? Because I'm pretty sure they don't pay for NYPD. Listen, I don't know about. Do they have the bread? Yeah, I think they do. Yeah, they are a pretty powerful group of people. Listen, it's like you got you have the Jewish community. <laughs> You got the Jewish community. You got the Jewish the, community. The, the gay community. The gay community. I don't know who's third. I really don't. The Asian community. You know what? They did They did get some pretty fast results with the Stop Asian Hate. They, yo, they, black they, people. They they got got took free, a, yo. yo, they got free lift rides. Really? Yes. Yo, how long it took us? We Asian women were, given, were offered free lift rides around the city or some shit like that because of the whole... Yo, that's crazy. We don't get shit. That's fucked up. That's crazy. The only progress I, th- I think we got is like the re- reduction of stop and frisk. Yo, yo, every the reduction, <laughs> not the stop. The reduction. Like that they still got the little table set up. Like, hey, you over yeah. there with the book bag? Come here. Come here. Come here. He did that to my cousin once. It was bad, funny. Oh, why, he got offended. It was funny because <laughs> like, cause he had a little blue book bag, and I guess he looked like I don't know a drug dealer or something. Oh, it's but he not. was dressed in like a, a suit. He had on like a button up. I don't know if that makes it worse or better. And I was next to him and I had my bag, but they didn't check me. I don't know if it's because I had the glasses or what. Uh, is it Roman? Yeah. I would check Roman. Yo, shout out to Roman. I would check Roman, especially with the accent. Oh, he definitely smuggling something. I'm like, damn. I felt bad. I'm like, damn, bro. I'm sorry that happened to you. 
but it's low. It is low key crazy how every, how every other race, every other like group, they get mad. They should be. They should be moving. Black people and eh, back of the line. Listen, man. Oh wait, I, I was on. I, I I went through my whole entire line. I'm um. That was my turn. Eh, no, back again. Back to the line again. It's crazy. But nah, like I don't. I don't know what's gonna happen with going back to the parade. I don't know what's gonna happen with that because like I don't think that can happen. When's the gay parade? Is it in the summertime? I don't remember. I went once. I don't remember. I heard that the gay parade is a great place for 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 single guys to get bitches. Oh yeah, yeah. that's a fact. <laughs> it's like you, you'll see more titties than than going to the strip club. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't understand why we don't, we don't go to, like parades and shit more often. Why, why are you lame? What do you do? You, do, you, do you forget what happened the past two years? What? What? I, oh, COVID. Oh yeah, pandemic. Yeah. But prior, before that, the question like, is, why are you lame? Because I was there. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Where were you? <laughs> you? You wasn't there for the last Labor Day parade. Oh well, yeah, true, true, Yo, it true, was true, raining. true, true. It was, no, wait, wait. You was there after it was finished, and I called you. You Whatever happened, you, you got me out of my house, and I was there for a portion of it. Yeah, I remember. You, I, was just, I was just soaked. Yeah, that was kind of funny. I, I had my, 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 my tan wallabies on. No shits were like. Who you? You were with somebody. I forgot who you were with. No, trust me, I wasn't with nobody. You were either with somebody or we ran into a few people that I knew. Probably ran into a few people that you know. You're a popular guy, man. You run nah, Brooklyn. I don't, I don't talk to nobody. Nah, man. My phone be, dry. You got the bitches. Yo, what's next? <laughs> All right, now you dragging it. No, you do. I see you. What else? Um, I would never lie to these beautiful fans. These fans? These these customers of ours. You mean, you mean like uh, like J. Cole's fans? <laughs> of us? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know. I'm trying to segue. Hey, man. I, 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 I see you trying. I tried. Man. That's all that matters. Keep trying, King. The intent. But yeah, so. So what you gonna say? What, what What are these fans doing? Nah, there were there were there was mixed mixed reviews on him joining the Rwandan basketball league and <laughs> leaving abruptly after his uh five point. A career gain? I don't know fucking know, man. No, nah, no, nah, he he was he played five games. From from what I saw for the highlights, he didn't do that bad. Like from like they broke down like he played for seventeen minutes, made three points, two assists. That's not bad. Listen, I just the, he had a lot of hate because um for what I don't know this one. I know people trash African him. basketball player in particular. Oh yeah, he was I remember upset that. That like he, he transitioned from he like he's already known. He transitioned from. One industry to basketball, and I guess he was like taking the limelight away from. Yeah, but he was never gonna Jacob. Jay- it's not like Jay Cole's gonna do it like permanently. It was just for a little run. I'll be honest, I don't know what the fuck was going on. <laughs> like I remember seeing the old videos of him training, with, like to be in the in the NBA. In the was NBA, that, was that so. even real? Like, was he training to be in the NBA, or he just? Like, it looked like he was training because it wasn't did. like he was playing a game. Like nah, he had like a, a little coach or whatever there. He was just shooting buckets. And yeah, like, he was. I remember that. Yeah, was, that's, that's what happens when you got money. You Listen, like, you got time and money, you can do whatever the fuck you exactly. want. Exactly. All you gotta do is make it in one with one thing, get really big, and yeah, then you just yeah, venture out yeah, yeah, you everything whatever. else. No matter if you're good, you can be trash. You can be trash. You just have to be really good at that one thing. You, yeah, you'll be all right. You're like, you that's be, your saving grace. <laughs> yo, my, yo, you listen to the off the off season fully? Nah. Damn, still? Nah, man, bro. Like I've been. I told you my headphones, I lost one of them. Oh, like, I'm never man. home. Like, yeah, man. I am at some point, but I was pretty, gotta get new headphones. I, I, think it's, I think it's his best project in a long time. Word? Because I like, I like the, the aggression of it. I like the bars. I think Most my, people like it. I haven't heard any negative reviews. Like, I think J. Cole is not really the best when it comes to being, quote, unquote, walk, making walk music. <laughs> like leave that to Kendrick, he got that. You that's a Kendrick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it comes to making songs about love and bitches, like yeah, leave that to, to Drake. But bar niggas up, yeah, that's you, man. Wow. What you know? So sometimes people need to know who they are. That's funny. So, and if, I think he knows who he is. He's just barring people up. That shit was fire. A lot of those songs were fire. I think my favorite song is uh, what my favorite song is um, damn, what's that saying? The song is um, Pride is the Devil. I love the beat on that. Proud as the devil. Yeah, I love the guitars on that. I love the I like his his, his uh, harmonies he did. It was dope. Um, I wasn't too crazy about Little Baby's verse because I didn't I didn't see what to do with the theme. Damn, you're not a little baby fan. He's I. Right. I don't like his voice. Oh my gosh, I'm a I hate like him. his voice. Um, I enjoyed it. Damn, so you didn't listen to DMX's uh, posthumous album? 
D- DMX's album, bro? Yeah. I thought that was, I thought that was a typo. <laughs> yeah, they really released the DMX album? Yeah, it came out. I listened to it. I kind of enjoyed it. Wow. Yeah, he he was working on it before he died. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh, I'm, or, I, you I, know what? I heard, you, of, I heard you, about it. I heard you thought about that it. was a typo? It. I heard about it. What typo? I heard about it. I heard about it. He was working on it. I didn't think it was finished. I didn't think it would be coming out so soon, you know? What typo? I don't see no... Where, where's this thing you're talking about, a typo? Oh, DMX, new album. Bro, I didn't believe it. I was like, where? <laughs> you was in the denial? I was in the, like... Let's go Exodus. What the fuck? Yo, I don't, I don't like shit like that, man. That's too normal. What, that... That's but, too normal and it's too soon. But he was working on it, though. I know, but like... Am I the only one that sees it, a problem with it being so normal that like... Posthumous albums come out? An artist passes away and then... You think, oh, they're 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 gone. You're celebrating the, the you're celebrating the, yo, nigga. <laughs> you're celebrating the, the their death, their death, and the, their life's achievements and the, their past work. And you're thinking, oh, that's it. Like we're moving on. We're gonna cherish what they left behind. Nope. New album out next week. It's like, yo, what the fuck? Like, is it, you think they take advantage of his death to make money? I feel hell yeah. Not just him. I feel like most of them. Cause that's weird. Like, so immediately after this person dies, like. Like they they just had this album. They haven't released an album in a whole in a long time. No, so he was working on it, bro. I just I just think it's crazy. Like like DMX on in interviews, he was talking about this album in particular. I just I still think he's talking about bro. this album. He's talking about the features, and when the project came out, people were like, oh yeah, this is exactly what he was talking about. This is it's insane to me. It's just crazy to me. Like a lot of these artists, like as soon as they pass away. A bunch of work comes out. You think they should? Not really. Uh, I think for... Can, can they do even say now like pop, more pop smoke music coming out? They're doing too much. Yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, they're doing too much. Yeah, one album. Well, I'm not going to say anything until it actually comes out. You know what? We'll, we'll see what happens. I think but. the only person I feel like they'd be wilding with is like, it's like Tupac and... Uh, like Tupac, how many post- like posthumous albums does Tupac have? I don't even know, man. Nigga has like like five posthumous albums. Like if you if you're born recently, you can't tell which what well, album was came out when he was alive, which came out after he was alive. Like if you if you got if you started listening to Tupac in two thousand and like oh five, you probably thought he was still alive. Listen, man, someone's saying he's still alive. He in Cuba. In Cuba. What is it? What is it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, but uh, I'm gonna name my favorite songs off of the album real quick. I think my two favorite songs is uh, Bath Salt and uh. Bath salt and a um, bath salt and a blue. Uh, I think hood blue, blue hood, hood blue. Yeah, hood blue, hood blues. There you go, the hood blues. Hood blues. That's my one of my two favorite. Even though I didn't think I love that beat. It's very it's, it's a very like bluesy beat, like something like you hear like a blues guitar solo over. I love it. That was a great beat. But I think out of that whole entire song, I think DMX and um. I think DMX and damn West Side Gun had like the worst uh, verses on there. And I think it was the worst because I think the way they um, rap, they have a lot of ad libs in the background, and the the, the song the beat. Wait, itself, so who else was on there if they had the worst verses? Um, the whole Griselda, you know Griselda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are the names? What are the names? Yeah. Bro, it's not the shit that um Benny the Bush is a part of. Okay, well, okay. You that's know. that's that's all I remember, bro. Don't, one. don't don't embarrass me. <laughs> don't embarrass me. Yo, bro. you said it. We say, yeah, yeah, Gazelle, yeah. <laughs> I like, yeah, I know, I know of the the name of the group, and I know one person that's a part of it. Benny the Butcher, uh, Conway the Machine, and uh, West Side Gun. Okay, I will try to remember that. It's okay. You, I'm listening to them more because you know what it is. I mainly listen. I've mainly heard music from Benny the Butcher, maybe like one or two songs from West yeah. Side Gun. But yeah, that's really it. I don't know. Um I think I think honestly, if I were ranked them, I'll think it might be have to be um Benny the Butcher, then it's uh Conway the Machine, and then it's, it's it, it, I think I might have to put DMX and then I have to put Conway uh then I have to put West Side Gun last. But the, well, are they the four like on that one song or Yeah, they all are on that, that one song. Listen, I I, 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 I like Benny the Butcher, so that sounds, sounds I enjoy about it, right. Uh, what else came out music? You been listening to anything else, bro? I listened to the same, same, same song, the same five songs over and over again. Yeah, y'all niggas, y'all niggas be boring. <laughs> what else is on the list? Akon got his, his car back. <laughs> he did. Yeah, I mean that's, that's what the article said. I ain't read the article, but damn. Man. First of all, you Akon, like you, you, you make something called convict music, 
You got your shit stolen as you're pumping gas? Fuck that shit. Isn't he making like a a, a city in Africa? a city a city that runs off a of, like the the runs off a of crypto like everything is crypto based? I don't think that's a good idea. One day people will be millionaires, and the next day everybody will be broke. Now, that'd be funny. Like how much how much for this bag of oranges? Oh yeah, uh, a dollar a dollar. What two two a coins? Yeah, two a coins. Two a coins. Then the next day, how much is this? Ten a coins. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That shit went up pretty high. The price. Well, hey man. Hey, have you checked the market recently? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, you can't really go. Yeah, we can't. Like, I know everybody wants to like live off crypto, but people know how like versatile. Like the crypto that market shit is dangerous, bro. That shit, <laughs> that shit give you money and take that shit right back. Yeah, like nothing. People be talking about that. That shit is like easy. Are oh, we on the topic? Me. Damn. All right. <laughs> I'm weak. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, it, it was funny because when he called in and was reporting it to the police, like he was explaining it, and they were telling him like, "Sir, that's not." They were saying how it's not a carjacking. That's what I was reading in the article. I didn't. I didn't how, hear the recording. How did he explain it? It was a phone call. He was reporting to police that you know, his car was stolen. He was saying what happened. And I guess they were denying, saying, oh, sir, that's not a carjacking. Like, they were telling him what happened. Even It just didn't make any sense. He must have got pissed. First of all, you're your account. You're going to afford another one. But I guess if you could afford it, you still don't want your shit stolen. I think what it was, if I'm not mistaken, like one of the articles said it was a custom vehicle. Damn, that's even worse. Yeah, if some shit's custom, bro. I want that shit back. I don't, I don't care if I could. It was get a it, it was a what Range Rover. Range yeah, Roger. I believe so. I've never one of those big vehicles like that. I don't know why y'all niggas love those big vehicles like that. First of all, what do you mean y'all niggas? <laughs> you like you like that, that shit too? Like, yo, man, I want to get a car. I want to I want to get a Explorer, a Ford Explorer. I don't remember saying that, but some shit like that. Some some. Some truck shit. Have you driven one? <laughs> First of all, I can't drive. Have you driven? Uh, listen, I want you to, you get the chance, I want you to drive one, and then I want you to, we're going to revisit this conversation. <laughs> this shit look massive. Look, look. Probably, you want a monster truck. <laughs> listen, it's part of the American dream, Yo, having a big car. No, it's know. not. I'm not white. Listen, man. It's part of the white American dream. Nah, it's everybody's dream, man. Get you an SUV. It kind of sucks, because I put... um. Dexter season nine specifically for Kuma, but he's not here. You know, I tried walk, watching Dexter. I didn't get into it. About the serial killer? Yeah, I was a little. Dexter is a white me. All right. Uh... All right. Okay. Next topic. <laughs> Next topic. Yeah, uh, we got two more topics. They, they were out. Um, Howard University renames uh, College of Fine Arts after Chasman Bowman. Yes, yeah, Chasman Bozeman, which was a, an alumni of Howard University. Yeah, he used to Howard University. He used to go back there and uh, give uh, teach classes and courses and whatnot. And really? Everything. Yeah, somebody somebody I know um, said that. I think he was he was at one of those sessions where he'd like. Just come back and give back to to, to his. Uh, you know something that's surprising is how fellow students, a lot of famous actors actually do come from like acting schools and acting like trades and places like that. A lot like yep, like a lot of them actually went to school for acting and actually mm-hmm. like went under tutelage and trained and like and all that type of shit. Like it's not like oh I, I'm natural and I just got into acting and I got better as no no it's just like actual like craft. So what are you saying? You debating going to school for for acting? For acting. I wasn't thinking about myself at all, but <laughs> but I am conceited cancer, so I mean, I don't know if I go to school for acting. I'll go. I'll, I'll get an acting coach. The acting coach. For sure, I'll get an acting coach. Listen, man. Yo, I, yo, is, is it fucked up? that I didn't check up on Spike or Kuma before recording the podcast. Uh, uh, not really. Cause then I'm, yeah. not the way I see it. Cause I, I'll be honest with you, man. I'm Maybe kind, I'm. I'm kind of. I'm tired of making like forcing people to do this. It takes away the. It personally takes away the fun for me. Like when Spike put in the when I put it in the group chat. Um. Yo, um, we can't do tomorrow. King can't do tomorrow. We gotta do it on Monday. Yo, I, I know. And, I know what you're talking and about. And he he put like, oh, I completely forgot. When I saw that, I'm like, bro, why did why didn't you just keep that shit to yourself? Cause that's like, damn. So like, I know, I know he doesn't care about it, but like, at least we remember the time. Like, like that's yo, this is work for me. 
And I hate, I hate like that, that last conversation when he was here. We were talking about like the podcast. He was like, "Yo, I'm not trying to get famous. I'm not even like, that's, I'm not even care about the podcast." Blah blah blah. I'm like, "Yo, fam, I know that." And I was trying to explain to him like the whole thing about like we call you Spike here, but then the the, the main thing that you do, you go by a different name. Wouldn't you want it to be called like the same thing everywhere? It doesn't matter what you want to be called. He's like, "Yo," and he basically said, "Yo, I don't really care about the podcast, but I'm like, it's Spike. You might not care about it, but what if it gets successful?" Wouldn't you want that that the audience to go back to you? Yeah, I remember I was there for that conversation. It, it was kind of weird because like, like yeah, like I was like, family, I got I annoyed. Um, I remember that combo. What, what, what was the name you had? Uh, Absolute dusk. Absolute dusk. Yeah, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Still don't get it. Absolute. It made me thirsty. We want some vodka. But like all that, all that conversation really showed is that you know he um he, he definitely prioritizes his um his gaming, which is fine. You can put your all surprise. I'm not like I'm not saying you gotta give you all into this. Like okay, you have your own thing. You have person you want to do. But like like damn man, he's also saying like he doesn't really care to um, make adjustments for this. Yeah, it just doesn't really take a lot of time. Like this is only takes up time for me. No, well, you, no, you don't say t- that yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what Be- the fuck, man? <laughs> besides, besides you guys coming to record. Besides that time, out of out of that time, like it just was for the rest of the week. It's like whatever. Listen, I'm not a close second, but this is definitely I'm the second person. Yeah, you're the second person. Like you're the second person. Gonna be upset, like yo, man, I gotta wait for Keen. Oh, yeah, Keen is in Brooklyn, so him being slightly late sometimes is it was very reasonable. Bro, you know it's crazy. I got here pretty fast, and I would have got here even faster, but the train was took a while to move. So I just find that funny. You yeah. saying, "Oh, I got here pretty fast." I'm like, "Really? I thought I, I was supposed to be here 20 minutes ago." Nah, because from the time you messaged me to the time, because it usually takes you get much longer to get here. Yep, it's, it's, it's a weekday, man. It's a blessing. I know that's what I was telling you, but you was always like, "No, nah, nah. nah, you're still far, bro." I like to set up. We're we're pretty much wrapping up. Oh, we gotta talk about that girl that got shot in London. That's part of the uh, Black Lives Matter. She was uh, one of the activists for Black Lives Matter. And she got shot in the head, and she's currently in uh, and she's currently in a uh, uh, the hospital currently. Was that like some random thing, or were they like having a, a meeting, a protest, or what happened? I think it was like random. I don't think it was like. I think it was like a targeted thing. Like yo. I think it was targeted. Listen, man. I think and the cops are investigating it as like uh, something gang related, and everybody's like, "Yo, what the fuck? This is not a gang related incident. Why are you guys reporting this on a gang related?" Shit like that is scary, man. Cause it's like you think you think um you, th- you think America is this racist place that doesn't that as oh, a whole. It was in America. It was in London. Yeah, no, but I'm saying like what I'm getting to is like you think America is this racist place and like black people would be. Safer in other parts of the world, but it's like racism. Is a, it's a world issue. It's not like an American issue. Yeah, I think America has it worse. Oh, definitely, America it has it worse. America has it worse, and the people make it worse because of like everyone. A, a lot of other countries and other cultures look at America as a template of like how to operate socially, and so they they like you know they mirror. I feel like a lot of shit is mirrored, bro. Yeah, I'm not. I'm just. I don't even disagree with that. But I think when it comes to like the history of America, and like compared to slavery and other places, like when slavery ended, first of all, in other places in the world, when slavery ended, it was because the people thought slavery was wrong. Mm-hmm. But when slavery ended in America, it ended because like the North politics. Want, yeah, it, the North wanted to weaken the South. It was just politics, bro. It wasn't out of like consideration. Like, oh, this is wrong. We should get rid of. I don't of this. look at it as, as weakening. I look at it as like, oh, like. Being spiteful, it was done out of spite. Nah, it was out. It's to weaken, because oh, no, it's man. because like, the the South, everybody who made their factories and like made their guns, everything that during the Civil War, everything that the South was using during the war was all made by slaves. So the North went like, "Yo, if we take away their manpower, they can't do shit." Took away their manpower, and the slaves went, went crazy and ran away. Shit's ridiculous. Man. So that it was to weaken. It. it was never. It was never done out of love. Like uh, J B J B L. JBL or JLB? 
Joby. The president I'm after talking about the speakers? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about the president. <laughs> nah, I'm talking about the president after um I talk about the president after um uh, JFK. Like like he 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 was a guy who put the civil rights bill in, in, into motion. But he didn't put the civil rights bill into motion because he like agreed with it. He put the civil rights bill into motion to honor on um, the death of JFK because it was it was JFK's life work to get that bill passed. Oh, LBJ. <laughs> I'm fucking weak. You said this shit backwards. Oh, I mean, maybe I do have dyslexia. <laughs> <laughs> Lyndon B. Johnson. Lyndon B. Johnson. Um. <laughs> I'm like, yo, what the fuck are you talking about? The speakers? Like, what I got to do with the combo? <laughs> <laughs> so it's, and, and like in other places too, after slavery and then certain places, like the oppressor and the oppressees, they live in different areas. They didn't live together. But in the, but in America, when when the, when the slavery ended, the oppressed E and oppressed R were still living in the same area, so it still gave chance to the, the oppressed R to oppress the oppressed E. Shit, man. The fact that I said that sentence correctly without fucking it up. Are you sure you have dyslexia? <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord! Listen, man. Uh, I, I want to. I'm pretty sure that this has happened. I want to see. I want to. I would like to hear of a story. About this, cause I know what happened for a fact. Like, um, like a white slave owner with, with a factory, just, just not telling, not telling his uh his slaves that like, oh, you're free. Yeah, because they can't read and they don't know. Yeah, because they can't read, they don't know, and like, yo, this work has to be done. I think a lot of people from the north just came like after the Civil War ended, cause that, that that did happen. Like after the Civil, like during the Civil War, a lot of people, a lot of slaves didn't know that slavery ended. Mm-hmm. And that, when the Civil War ended, there'd be like people from the north just riding around, like you guys know you guys are free, right? Like, yeah, what? but there's a lot of um, what you gonna call it? I see a lot of jokes about stuff like that, but I wanna, I wanna, I wanna like watch or read about a real story. Like I seen skits about stuff like that. Like oh, I feel like they're, maybe maybe they're not, they're not as common as we think they were because we I feel like we would have heard one story. Shit, man! Like we hear about slavery buildings all the time. What was it? I don't know what what show was I watching. I don't know if it was Key and Peele or something else, but it was like a funny skit. Dude was like, "Oh, um, he, he the slave owner or the overseer, he took his hat off. He was like, guys, you know, I got bad news. You know, slavery's over. I gotta let you go." <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's funny for him. That's bad news. He gotta pay now. He gotta, he gotta, he gotta like pay workers I think, now. If I remember the skit correctly, I think he was begging to stay. Like he didn't want. To. You want to get get freed? Was a slave? I, th- I think it was a house slave. Oh, <laughs> yeah, house slaves had a good some of the options. Oh say my that. god! <laughs> <laughs> Shit, man. Some of some of some of some of them were like, "Yo, man, I'm inside, man. I get to eat well. I'm oh, man. I ain't, I ain't in that sun, man. Yeah, right." I said, I better get back to work so I can chill. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, yeah, shit. Man. <laughs> I guess I get others pussy. I'm. Oh my shit. gosh, man! I would have such a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but nah, what else is what else? No, is here? How you like the new setup? No, I like the setup, man. I, I just need to get stands that can actually reach to where we're sitting. It, it, the stands are a nice decoration. It yeah, that's the hair looks official. Yeah, yeah, it makes it look like you know. I don't like the caramel that much, though. No, they can't smell the caramel. They just see a candle. Yeah, I remember, I remember one time there was a movie called like Lava Girl and a Shark Boy. Yo, I used to love that movie. I, mean, I, had, I had the stickers and everything. Yeah, yeah. Somebody said like, "Yo, it's in 4D," and like one of my classmates in 4D, you can scratch off the tickets and smell them. See, smell that's part of the 4D. I'm like, no, you dumbass. 4D is time. 4D is not smell, you idiot. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, I was like, what's wrong with you? It's like, yeah, 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 yeah. My teacher looked at him like, <laughs> uh, like, Jay, like Jason, yeah. <laughs> don't even waste your time. Yo. I used to have a crush on Lava Girl. I don't know what she looked like now. Overweight. Word? I don't know. <laughs> you ready to end this shit? Yeah, man. What, what else we got? Uh, That's all the topics. We can talk about, I mean, we can talk about Texas passing bill that allows people to carry without permit. Oh shit! Oh, my lot of black people leave Texas, huh? Black people leave Texas. Yo, that's sounds sounds. You know what I mean? Not sounds what? I say sounds fun. You know, you get to walk around with a gun. It sounds like the Ku Klux Klan, man. They surely um, the Ku Klux Klan. They definitely know how to um, pick their senators. I'm not gonna lie. If I ever go to Texas because of this fact, 
I would be so scared to get into an argument with anybody. Cause you just never know. I might I might be like over it. And they're like, nah, it's not over. Go back and get their gun. Or they already have it on them. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, man. Nah, that's crazy. Next thing you know, a bill passes like, oh yeah, it's okay to To murder? The purge. The bill passes like the purge. Yo. If that happens, man, I'll, shit, I'm going back to Jamaica, yo. It was a good run. <laughs> in America? It was a good run in America. <clears throat> nah, that shit is crazy. The Purge. There's a new Purge movie coming out called Purge Forever. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know I don't like The Purge? I don't like that shit. You don't like, the, you don't like the movie or the concept? I don't like the concept. That shit gives me anxiety, bro. Like, <laughs> what does it give you anxiety? Because it's like we're already living like that. No, we're not. There's mass shootings every minute. But that's not, but you still go to jail for that. It's not like it's like massive, like everybody's doing it. Man, this, you'd be surprised the amount of crimes that are unsolved that are people that they never catch. It's not that hard to do a crime. and you just proving my point, man. <laughs> just proving my point. It's not that hard to kill somebody and get away with it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Dexter. <laughs> it really isn't. Yo, I, God forbid you get any, any issues later, I, ho- I hope. I don't hope, use the podcast. I hope law enforcement doesn't use this as a, as evidence. Huh, uh, if you listen to episode uh, ninety one <laughs> uh, at a timestamp uh, three three seven uh, thirty seven and uh, twenty eight seconds, he says this. I mean, that's actually the timestamp right now. Shit, they're gonna they're gonna have me down as an accomplice. You knew he was like this. <laughs> you knew <laughs> they can't do that. Yo, know, it be, but it'd be crazy. Like you know, they be using people's songs for uh, to like uh, for a rap. That's not crazy to me at all. I feel like <laughs> they should have been doing that from from the very start. I be like rappers be making it. Yo, I killed such and such in Cooleyville and over here at this time of the blog. And then like the cops are doing like, oh well, well thank you. Oh, that was easy. All right, let's uh, let's do the DNA <laughs> to forensics and uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that matches. Well, this is great, guys. That was easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, let's go get the bastard. <laughs> <laughs> yo, man, we say everything on this. Yo, I murdered the ops on this. I smoked two cool, cool, cool pack on this. Yo, a lot of these, a lot of rappers be making it hard for the lawyers, bro. <laughs> I feel like sometimes the lawyers think they got it, and then some more shit comes out because the rap- fuck. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, like why am I here? Shit, man, you just you just trying to incriminate yourself, bro. It's terrible. All right, man, let's 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 call it a wrap. All right, man, this is Kino. <laughs> it's a bodega, and that's it. Peace. All right, all right. See ya. I ain't look at the camera the whole time. All right, bye. I know you didn't. You hit record, right? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs>